Section twenty five of Poems by Currer, Ellis, and Acton Bell by Charlotte, Emily, and Anne Bronte. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Elizabeth Clatt. Anticipation by Emily Bronte. How beautiful the earth is still! To thee, how full of happiness! How little fraught with real ill, or unreal phantoms of distress! How spring can bring thee glory yet, and summer win thee to forget December's sullen time! Why dost thou hold the treasure fast of youth's delight when youth is past, and thou art near thy prime? When those who were thy own compeers, equals in fortune and in years, have seen their morning melt in tears to clouded, smileless day. Blessed had they died untried and young, before their hearts went wandering wrong, poor slaves subdued by passions strong, a weak and helpless prey. Because I hoped while they enjoyed, and by fulfilment hope destroyed, as children hope with trustful breast, I waited bliss and cherished rest. A thoughtful spirit taught me soon that we must long till life be done, that every phase of earthly joy must always fade and always cloy. This I foresaw, and would not chase the fleeting treacheries, but with firm foot and tranquil face, held backward from that tempting race, gazed o'er the sands the waves efface to the enduring seas. There cast my anchor of desire deep in unknown eternity nor ever let my spirit tire with looking for what is to be. It is hope's spell that glorifies, like youth to my maturer eyes, all nature's million mysteries, the fearful and the fair. Hope soothes me in the griefs I know, she lulls my pain for others' woe, and makes me strong to undergo what I am born to bear. Glad comforter! Will I not brave unawed the darkness of the grave? Nay, smile to hear death's billows rave, sustained my guide by thee. The more unjust seems present fate, the more my spirit swells elate, strong in thy strength to anticipate rewarding destiny. End of section twenty five.